hello guys happy monday i am starting off this vlog again really late in the day it's actually 3 p.m i want to do a weekly vlog though so i'm about to go take nala on a walk um but i just wanted to i guess sit down for two seconds with you guys and talk about how i'm feeling <laughs> um because i think as i briefly touched on um in my last video I'm not feeling the healthiest, I'm not feeling the greatest, and I really want this video to be sort of a dedicated health vlog because <laughs> Lord knows I need it. I guess um, this is sort of a starting point <laughs> for uh, the next few weeks. I have put on probably like four kilos. I don't. I try not to weigh myself, but I did the other day at my parents' house and I was like, oh shit. Again, weight doesn't matter, but I can also see in my body that it's just not as tight as it usually is. Um, I was wearing my leather pants that I wore to Coachella and those were loose on me there and now they had like, they had like little cutouts in them. <laughs> my love handles were like sticking, like squishing through them. I was like, oh. The most important thing is that you are healthy, happy, um, fit and doing the best that you can and I certainly haven't been doing the best that I can so I've been cancelling every gym session that I've been booking into I have been buying myself packets and packets and packets of lollies and eating just the most ridiculous amount of Uber Eats and bad foods and just I don't feel good on the inside I don't feel good on the outside so it's Monday it's a fresh week I am going to really focus on not bothering about the way that my body looks, but the way that my ins insides feel. So, in saying that, I'm going to go walk Nala to the park now. Um, she needs a little run around. It's such a beautiful day outside, so I'm, I'm excited to actually get out and about. I've just finished editing my video for tomorrow, and I have a few video ideas, actually, this week. I'm going to do that. I don't know whether you... Oh, God, this totally goes against everything I've just said. But you know those videos going around that are like, order the thing in... Order the same thing as the person in front of you is going around on YouTube right now. I'm gonna do that this week as well. I'm excited, I'm pumped, it's gonna be good. I'm back from my walk and I'm just having some turkey with peas and potatoes. I really just want a big block of chocolate, but <laughs> baby steps, baby steps. Okay guys, I'm in the car now. I'm gonna head to a Max store. Sorry, we're parked now. As I was saying, I'm just on my way to go to Max store a max store i'm gonna go buy myself a few viva glams to support the cause i love the color and um i've got a few birthdays and stuff coming up so i might give it to a few friends and my sister and stuff so but i'll tell you a little bit more about it once i go in um and buy it because it's really amazing please excuse my messy background but i'm putting my one on i'm so terrible at putting lipstick on Matches my top now. But basically, I want to tell you guys a little bit about the Viva Glam, Viva Glam Fund. Because I was saying to the girls from Mac, I was like, you guys honestly don't promote this nearly enough because it's such an incredible cause. And yet, I don't know if it was just me. Maybe it was just me. But I just feel like not enough people know about it. So I'm going to obviously insert the clips that I took from Mac <laughs> here now. Because that's why I went to film and show you guys. This year's Viva Glam ambassador is Winnie Harlow. She is incredible. She's so beautiful, so hot. Um, and such an amazing person for being a part of such an amazing cause. Over time, Mac has had some of the most incredible ambassadors. They've had Elton John, they've had RuPaul, they've had, I believe, Lady Gaga. Every single dollar of the selling price of this lipstick goes towards the Mac AIDS Fund. I bought three, I bought one for myself, one for my sister, and one for another present, just in case I need to give someone a present. If you guys have any people's birthdays coming up, or you have, you know, any weddings, or anything that you need to get a gift for someone, or if you've been looking for a beautiful deep red lipstick, I would highly suggest going and buying it from MAC because not only are you getting the sickest lipstick of all time, you know your money is going towards people in need. As you can see here, a few of the facts from the installation. One Vivi Glam lipstick purchases a full day of meals for two homeless LGBTQ plus youth. One Vivi Glam lipstick buys 254 condoms to prevent the transmission of HIV. One Viva Glam lipstick tests 14 pregnant mothers for HIV to support the health for women. So you buying one lipstick can literally change lives. And that's actually their slogan. It's change your lipstick and change your life. All you have to do is go buy an amazing, beautiful lipstick and you'll change your life. So I think it's a really important cause. I'm like 
quite literally obsessed with this lipstick. I think I'm going to be wearing red lips lips a lot more often now. Morning. Oh no, guys. This morning is the first morning that I've woken up with a sore throat. Surprisingly, after Coachella and Easter and my just terrible diet and all the alcohol I've been drinking, it surprises me that today's the only day that I've woken up with a sore throat. I was convinced I was going to get sick after Coachella, but nothing. I was completely fine. And I think the only reason that I've woken up with a sore throat is because it's freezing. Like, yesterday was freezing. Oh, and I've got fashion week. Why couldn't I have been sick when I had time off? That's so annoying. But anyway, I'm going to take lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of my probiotics and vitamins. Try to kill this before it turns into a flu. Anyway, I'm just going to make some toast for breakfast. I'm going to have peanut butter toast with banana on it. And then I'm going to head to the gym. I'm actually going to take some apple cider vinegar. This is what I'm going to start doing every morning about half an hour before I eat. Because if you guys don't like doing apple cider vinegar shots, then an apple cider vinegar tablet with all the same ingredients has all the same benefits. I'm also going to take one of my probiotics um, for my sore throat. I'm not making a smoothie or anything right now, so I'm not going to take my pre-boiled collagen. I'm actually just going to take my sup uh, collagen. It's like the most delicious berry cordial shot it's like so, so tasty. So I'm going to do that this morning as well. I look so tired. I can tell when I'm getting sick when I wake up and my face is so puffy. This is like probably like the yummiest health drink I've ever had. Usually this stuff tastes so gross. So it's got biotin, vitamin C, vitamin E, zinc, vitamin B6, jasmine green tea extract, Marine collagen, five grams. So it's like a little health and wellness shot as well as a collagen shot. Yum. Look how stingy my banana is. Oh my God. Such foods, Bo. <laughs> Okay, 10 reps, yes. So hips forward, two, three, exhale on the way up, and squeeze the shoulders. Just give me four more, yes. Radio, that session is finito. Those body scans were so interesting because we did those body scans. I don't know whether you guys remember, but in one of my vlogs a while back, and it was was 29.5% um, muscle mass. I was 21.5% body fat, and now I am at 30.2% muscle mass, and I'm 18.9% body fat so I've actually improved since I did those scans ages ago but in saying that I really wish I had done these scans before Coachella because I feel like I was the fittest and strongest I've ever been but um because I'm like as you guys have seen been eating like a suck of potatoes so I uh it's interesting that I've still improved since like six months ago or so but we're gonna do those scans again in five weeks time because that's the five week challenge that he's doing and I'm excited to see <laughs> if I can improve on that because I know I can I know right now I can feel in my body like it's soft but it's something to strive towards and it's like a goal that I can have in the next five weeks just to decrease my body fat and increase my muscle mass so 
there you have it i'm gonna go off to a meeting now with jess from mac where she was in tokyo with us and i'm obsessed with her so okay guys i'm gonna make myself a smoothie before i head out to my meeting i'm having vanilla protein which is my current favorite from Tropica. i'm putting spirulina in for extra protein and for some greens but it's gonna be banana and peanut butter otherwise because that doesn't give too much of a flavor if you put just a small amount so I'm gonna put some banana chunks, some cinnamon, lots of ice to make it thick. And I've got this powdered peanut butter that goes really well in smoothies. I've had it for a while and I stopped using it and it was at the top of my cupboard. And I just add two huge tablespoons of this and it really thickens up the smoothie. I'm gonna drink this. Yum. Um, and then I'm probably just gonna stay in my gym gear so I'll just head out and then chat to you guys later. Who's about to go get a haircut, huh? Say goodbye to Nala's long shaggy hair. Let's go get you a haircut, my love. I've just finished up at my meeting and my throat is feeling so much worse than it was this morning. I was hoping I would just sort of start feeling better during the day, but I had a big vegetable soup, which will hopefully help. I'm gonna head home and make some tea, some lemon and honey maybe. Oh, so inconvenient. Look who we have here. <laughs> oh, it's my new doggie. I got a new dog. This, his name's Simba. Nala. Oh my gosh, she's so soft. I'm heading to my parents' house now. It's about 5 p.m. I've got a meeting tonight, dinner meeting. <laughs> Which is just casual, thank God, because it's freezing and I could not get dressed up even if I tried. And now I can go have a run around at my parents' house. Poor girl's gonna have a big few days. Look how soft she is. Oh, I love you. I think she's a bit angry at me. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna head there now. I will most likely talk to you guys tomorrow though. Nowie. Nowie. <laughs> <sighs> Oh, Wednesday. I'm taking my little girl to go to the vet. It's about 7 a.m. I've woken up feeling sicker, of course, even though I friggin took lots of cold and flu and lots of lemon soup last night, drank lots of water. I had a green juice in the afternoon. I even got a miso soup. But I've woken up feeling worse, of course. Just as soon as I start my health vlog, this happens, <laughs> of course. Um, but I'm gonna put myself into the doctor and get a little bit of medicine, a little flu shot to stop myself from getting the flu. I'm gonna take her for a quick run outside in Centennial Park so that she gets a little bit tired. There's ducks crossing the road. Hello, ducks. Ducks crossing the road. Excuse me, excuse me, waddle waddle. Oh my god, my poor baby. I don't know whether it's because I'm sick or because my little baby, but I really want to cry. Oh, I was supposed to film the order everything the person in front of me eats orders challenge today don't think i'm feeling up to it so i'm gonna do that on friday and then hopefully because it's mother's day this weekend hopefully i'll have time to edit that for you guys um before sunday and then this will probably go up the following wednesday so hopefully i'll have time to edit on saturday because then fashion week starts on sunday I have so much to do before Fashion Week. It starts Sunday, goes through to Wednesday. I'm going to so many shows, I haven't organized anything. Got her bed ready for her. I'm gonna go pick her up. My little girl is ready to come home. Update, I've done nothing really all day because I'm just trying to rest. Look at my little angel. Poor girl. Poor girl, Baba. You okay? Very brave, very brave. Oh my gosh, my heart. I'm gonna bring down my laptop and we're gonna perch here for the night. I'm just gonna give her lots of snuggles and love. 
and we can be sick together. It's healthy, uh... No, that's not mine. Healthy vlog's not doing so well. That's not mine. Hi guys. Sorry I haven't been on my camera today. It's Thursday, but it's like 5pm. I had a meeting today at my house and that went for like five hours. <laughs> um, and I haven't done much else because I was just obviously still recovering. I'm feeling a little bit better now. Sorry, I was feeling better during the day, but now I'm feeling a little bit sort of sore and tired again. Um, I'm just cooking up some dinner, so I'll show you guys. I just made like a yummy little chicken and veggie stir fry. I'm gonna have some rice. I feel like I've just done this in a really weird way, but I'm just boiling up some rice in my pan. Um, and I'm gonna have dinner kind of early because I'm so hungry and I wanna have an early night. Good morning guys. I have just come back home um, from doing a sauna at Flow Revive. I had my flu shot, finally. Um, and I'm just making it some lunch. I'll have a cleaner coming in a second. And then I'm making my fashion weeks. I'm making my fashion week selects as well over here. I'll show you. Then this afternoon I have to like scrub my tan off. I'm getting a spray tan with L Effect before fashion week. Um, and then I'm filming a video tonight with Nick. So I thought I'd give you a bit of a download of my day. It's going to be a busy day. So I'll show you what I can. But um, otherwise I'm probably going to be ending this vlog today. And starting our mukbang tonight. So keep your eyes peeled. And then fashion week vlogs next week. Now I've had a big shower and I'm going to head to the parlor room in Clovelly, which is where we're doing the event for Elle Ferguson's um, sort of pamper session. She's putting on an event for like a spray tan with Elle Effect, which is her tan, um, and to get our nails done and stuff, which is so lovely. I've been looking forward to this all week, to be honest. So I'm going to bring you guys along. Um, I've decided because it's going to get dark by the time Nick gets home tonight, it's, as it's Friday night, um, I think I might film the mukbang tomorrow. I'm just speaking aloud right now. <laughs> Hooked up, getting my B vitamins and my C vitamins. Hey guys, this is actually a week later than <laughs> I filmed this vlog. I'm in the midst of fashion week right now um, and I'm going to just say goodbye and end this vlog here. Hope that you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for a whole heap of more videos coming. Um, sorry the, for the lack of two videos this week, but I have lots in the works. So stay tuned for Fashion Week, Mechaland, lots of get ready with me and things like that. So hope you guys enjoyed. Love you lots. See you next time.